Welcome to another edition of the Nightly Nuge. Uh, Ted, I don't know if you were on the Twitter spaces listening when Ron DeSantis announced, announced his candidacy, but I was and it wasn't on. And I'm like, you know, kind of felt like when I, when I was a kid, my grandma was hitting the radio like, well, 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 what's going on here? And then all of a sudden DeSantis came on. And what what shocked me the most was how scripted it was. And it was almost like a Joe Biden press conference because he was given softball questions. And then I thought back how when President Trump came down the escalator, when he announced his campaign and how just presidential that all seemed. I know there's a lot of people out there, uh, anti-Trumpers. There's some pro-Biden folks out there. And DeSantis, what do you make of what's going on the Republican side of the equation right now with Trump, DeSantis, Tim Scott, um, Nikki Haley, and so on, that have all thrown their hat in the ring, but specifically Ron DeSantis, Donald Trump? Donald Trump. Donald Trump, go Trump, reelect that mofo again. I'm telling you, America, the reason that there's any question about Donald Trump is because of the overwhelming tsunami of propaganda from the America hating. They don't just hate Trump. They hate Trump because Trump was the first guy to get into politics that had a blinding spotlight on the deep state criminality. The, the deep state criminals hate you and me because we voted for Donald Trump that exposed the deep state criminals. Ron DeSantis is a damn good governor of Florida. I helped get him elected. He still hasn't opened the bear season, so I can't support him. There's too many bears in Florida, and he won't open the season. They just keep slaughtering them downtown Naples with Mercedes Benz. So, America, you've got to do your research. All the negativity and lies and hate against Donald Trump, just like against me, we diss the Native Americans, never happened. That he dodged the draft, never happened. That he's a racist, ask my black bass player. The lies against me is because I'm a truth, logic, common sense, cockroach spotlighter. And that's what Donald Trump represents. So a big salute to Ron DeSantis, but he's not presidential. I don't believe that uh, he has done the perfect job in Florida. And the reason he is the governor of Florida, he came out from way behind because a real conservative, a real constitutionalist named Donald Trump endorsed him for governor of Florida. That's why Ron DeSantis is the governor of Florida. And he was giving his working orders stick to conservative values, Ron. And he's done a great job. He's not quite as good as Christy Nome. He's better than Greg Abbott. But Ron Ron DeSantis is a great governor, but I'm telling you, America, we have got to spotlight the lies of the propaganda ministry that hate Trump because he exposed their criminal activities. Joe Biden is a soulless, demonic gangster. His entire party are racist. They're still going against the Civil Rights Act. They're still the Ku Klux Klan. They're still fanning the flames of racism, claiming that white supremacy is the biggest threat in America, while 21 blacks shot 21 blacks in Chicago on Saturday. <laughs> so, so I'm telling you, all I have to say, America, if you want America back on course, strong, prosperous, safe, constitutional, you, we've got to get behind Donald Trump. He is the one who will bring us back to that shining city on the hill. A couple more points I want to make, Ted, with you and get your take. Um, I'm sure your dad told you the same as my dad told me is that you are the company that you keep. So let's talk about some of the company about around Ron DeSantis, Paul Ryan, Mitt Romney, Carl Rove, the Bushes, Bill Kristol. Um, all of that raises red flags. One of the things I I've been opposed to war um, from the onset for the purpose of people getting rich. I think the Ukraine is is that again. Ron DeSantis was originally opposed to the Ukraine war. And then when he got in bed with Paul Ryan and the Bushes, all of a sudden he thinks it's a great idea to defeat Russia. So what's your take on the company he keeps? 
Well, and again, you brought up all those points that I'm well aware of, and I'm glad that we're able to educate people here on the Nightly News. You do great research because everything you just brought up is indisputable. Absolutely 100% on the money. My dad used to always tell me, tell me who you go with, and I'll tell you who you are. Tell me who you hang with, and I'll tell you what you are. You just gave a list of people that are greedy, corrupt, anti-American, if you really study the list of the people you just mentioned, there are supposed Republicans. They're not Republicans. They're Republicans in name only, and they're actually anti-Constitution, anti-entrepreneur, anti-accountability, anti-strong, anti-safe, anti-low crime. Those are the people that hang with Ron DeSantis, and he showed his weakness by even allowing these enemies of America to hang with him. Donald Trump, he made some mistakes listening to Fauci too long, and the bump stock ba- ban was a joke because he got bad advice because he knew nothing about guns. <laughs> and, he, and the whole uh, the weaponized Wuhan virus caught everybody off guard. But when it comes right down to the four years under Donald Trump, the best years in America. If you want that again, it's so simple. Look at who Ron DeSantis hangs out with. They've always been corrupt and greedy and oath violating. Donald Trump is on a true North Compass setting. Everything he did, except for those two points I brought up, the the, the warp speed, a fake shot, insanity and the bump stock stupidity but everything else down i've listed it many many times on nightly nuge and on my real america's voice spirit campfire go to real america's voice and i do a weekly campfire and truth logic and common sense will set you free and it'll also spotlight the failures of ron DeSantis and the successes of donald j trump last point in the last minute that we have ted you and i've talked about this and you are the biggest Trump supporter that I know. And there are some uh, that say that the president listens to the nightly news from time to time. If you were to give him some advice going forward, knowing that you are the biggest Trump supporter on the planet that I know, what would you tell him going forward that would pave a easier road to success for him? You know, I've had some wonderful, intimate times with the president and uh, his son, Don Jr., and his inner circle, Stephen Miller, is just a firebrand. He is, I wish Stephen Miller could be president, but we're talking about truth, logic, and common sense, true North Compass constitutionality. But I would tell the president what I tell him every time, take a breath. And remember who's saying this, because I had to tell myself many years ago to take a breath, <laughs> because I'm very passionate and very uppity and high energy. He's very passionate, he's very uppity, and he's very high energy. In fact, even a couple years older than me, Keith, he's he's more fiery than I am until I grab a guitar. So Donald Trump, we love you. We love your true North Compass setting, and you're sticking to the Constitution and truth, logic, and common sense. But what you say in an hour, you should say in 20 minutes. And you should always take the high road. And your crowbar debates in the 2016 election should be things of the past. You should embrace your fellow Republicans while very gentlemanly spotlighting their failures, as Keith and I just did now about Ron DeSantis. Praise them for their positives, if I, as I do against my enemies, even though it's, it's heartbreaking that we even have to consider that some Republicans are indeed, and they are, enemies because they're scammers and they're World Economic Fund uh, cheaters and and greedy uh, oath violators. But Donald Trump always err on the side of the the high road. And America loves that. We love your piss and your vinegar. We love your fire, your passion. But you need to streamline it and get to the core. And even after what we just said about Ron DeSantis, Keith, Um, I would love to see, just at this point in time, not conclusive, but a current hunch, and I often don't express hunches, I stick to truth, logic, and common sense, but I have a dream right now, Donald J. Trump and Christy Nome. Donald J. Trump and Christy Nome. Just an idea. Well, tomorrow night, Ted, I want to talk a little music with you. The music world lost an icon, Tina Turner. I want to get your take on Tina Turner, and I want to get an update on the Adios Mofo Tour tomorrow night right here on the Friday Free-For-All edition of the Nightly Nooch. See ya.